Hello, my name is Michael Merton. I'm president and CEO of Yenoptik AG. It's an optoelectronics company. It's a global player located in Germany and in a special place, in a special area of uh, Germany, it's Jena. Jena is the hometown of optical industry and in Jena, optical industry was really invented. It was during the 19th century by Carl Zeiss, Ernst Abbe and Otto Schott. And today, Yenoptik is a company with total sales of uh, around about 500 million euro, what equals actually 650 million US dollars. My first profession, of course, is to be a scientist. I studied physics and made my diploma in physics. But uh, directly after my diploma, I wanted to get more contacts, at least the opportunity to have more contacts to customers to really drive business. So I decided to make my doctor thesis as an engineer. And this was driving my career. I wanted to uh, kind of build the bridge between technologies, innovations, and the usage of these innovations within a customer base. Personally, I think innovation should not be a standalone or a cause by itself. It should have a sense, it should have an intention, and this is always on the market side. I want to mention three key components for that, how Germany managed the economical crisis. The first one was we managed unemployment. There was a program of short-time work, what allowed companies to have a kind of a short-time procedure over 24 months, what was supported by the government, what was paid part, partially by the government for the employees. So the companies didn't release people, didn't lay off people, so the competence stayed within the companies. This is one point. Another important point was during the last 10 years, the salary and wages increase in Germany was relatively low, relatively low compared to other company, uh, countries in Europe or in the Western world. And this helped us to uh, have our prices for our goods, for the investment goods, which are sold globally, relatively low. A third point was an economic program by the government itself, what supported investments in the public sector mainly, and uh, what also supported companies by refinancing. What we've done is uh, very clear, we performed a very clear portfolio strategy. So we put really pressure and uh, focus on the business and parts of the business we wanted to continue and we did reorganization of especially these parts. We implemented a Yenoptic Excellence Program with a strong focus of operational excellence, but also on cash flow. So we reduced net debt significantly during the crisis so that our financial position in our days is much, much better than it was before. Secondly, due to this excellence program and the cost positions, we improved our total cost position and especially our basic costs, our run rate in our costs, by roughly 25 million euros per year. And we see the results in the results of the year 2010. Maybe you know about the special system in Germany, what besides the university uh, as a field of education, also supports the so-called dual system. That's a kind of an educational system, for example, to become a, a technician, for example, in mechanics, in electrics. And this dual system supports school, and training on the job in a company. And um, with this dual system, we educate our own people in the special professions. And this is attracting people from other areas too. But we will have to think about to import also workforces from Eastern Europe um, in the near future. That's a big political discussion in Germany especially. If we want to allow people which are willing to contribute to our society if we want to allow them to join us in Germany. We have sometimes some bad experience coming from the past, but also how we managed it as Germans to attract people to our country. I think it wasn't well managed during the 60s when we got workforces from Turkey, for example, cheap workforces. Today we have a totally different problem. We need high educated people which are willing to contribute. And the programs in our days are very strongly driven from the companies itself. So hopefully we will get more political support in the near future too. After the reunification in Germany um, in the late 80s, there were around about 60,000 people working for the Kazai's Combinate, thereof half of it uh, in Jena itself, and another 30,000 in <coughs> cities and the area uh, around Jena. So there was a lot of knowledge in the entire area. It was with companies, it was with the Combinate, and it was with uh, the universities. 
And this knowledge does not disappear from one day to the other. And a very important point after the reunification was to maintain this knowledge by giving the people the opportunity to start an own business and to become entrepreneurs by their own. And that's the way uh, how business works in our days in this area. Lots of small companies all are working together. People know each other and we work very closely together, not just in between the companies, but also together with the entire university and the institutes in this area. Jena was a typical city of uh, the German Democratic Republic before we had the re reunification. So it was grey, grey and grey. The water was dirty, there's a river going through Jena, it's called the Saale. The water was dirty, you couldn't uh, swim there, you couldn't play there, nothing. In the winter times you had uh, kind of smog coming from all the coal what was burned for electricity but also as uh, heat for all the homes. Um, in our days you will see a very modern city, all the uh, houses are renovated, you will see fantastic buildings, 100, 200, 300 years old, in the combination with very modern architecture. So you see exactly what you expect from a modern high-tech city. And uh, this entire change happened in 20 years. And again, it's because all the people accepted change as an opportunity and they didn't want to stay in the old behaviors and in the old traditions. So I think the conditions of life will be further improved by photonics, by having products with lower energy consumption, what is one of the biggest advantage if you exchange the electron by the photon in many applications. And uh, I think in all the areas it will influence us more and more, but we will not see it in our daily life. We will not recognize the photonic age in our daily life, we will just use it.